Hi, this is Eric Martin, Report Game Geek. I'm here with Brandon Parsons from Blue Orange Games, and we'll be looking at Cup of Bluff from Dave Yarrick. That's right. Uh, forthcoming release from you, not out at the moment, so not right. final production components. Yep, yep, yep. We'll get that out ahead of time. Uh, the chips are final, the, the cup and the box and the dice are yeah, work in progress. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Obviously we're yeah. bluffing. This is a bluffing game. With a cup. With a cup and some chips. Okay. So basically you take turns as the bluffer, and as the bluffer you're gonna shake up these dice. And you got this uh, graded top here, so you're gonna look through that and add up the value of your dice. Okay. And then <clears throat> you're gonna bluff about it. So the way, they, the way what I mean by bluff is you wanna try to trick your opponents. So you can say the real value of these dice, in this case it's really 10. Okay. Or you can make up a value, and every value you want, as long as it's one of these chips here. Okay. The trick is, you want your opponents to not believe you. So if you're going to say the real value of this, then you want them to think it's a bluff. And okay. if you say a bluff, you're going to want them to think it's the real value. Okay. So let's say I call out uh, 10, and I, I pick a target. So it's uh, 2 to 5 players? 2 to 4 players. Uh, you pick a target, you say, Eric, uh, I rolled a 10. Okay. And then you either tell me if I'm telling the truth or if I'm bluffing about it. Okay. Truth or bluff? Well, I would say bluff because why not? But There's no, way more guy. Oh, it is the truth. So, uh, whatever number I called out, either I'm going to score it or you're going to score it. Okay. So, if you were able to see the truth, either calling my bluff as a bluff or calling my truth as the truth, okay. you would have scored it. Okay. However, if I'm able to trick you, I score the chip instead. Okay. All the chips are worth points. Uh, the more frequent the number, uh, the fewer the points, basically. Uh, so uh, these guys are worth five, and you got the pips down there to tell you points. So if you, if you score the 18 chip, you will score five points. But if you score the nine through 12, you're only scoring one point. All right, so now you have this. Yes. I, in the future, roll a 10. Right. What do I do? Great question. So, if the chip is in front of a person, yes. you, the number you're going to call, if the number you're going to call is in front of a person, you must pick them as your target. Okay. So now, uh, same thing, uh, you're going to say to me that I, you rolled a 10, yes. you could be telling the truth or bluffing, I think you're telling the truth. So, if, you were, if I cor correctly guessed what you said, then you would have to give me one of your chips. However, if I was tricked, then, then I get actually the get a 10. Yeah. Okay. So if, you, if the bluffer does a good job, they're going to take the chip. Um, but if I can see through your bluff, they're going to have to give me a chip. Okay. Yours. So you got player targeting based yes. on what you have, and you play until all, all the chips are gone? So that would, it seems like a long it's game. It's a long game. I personally because prefer to play to a certain number of points. You can okay. do either way. You can go a longer game and go through the whole thing. Because, I mean, what are the odds you're actually getting the 18? Or well, the second, the second you say the number 18, somebody's getting it. Okay. So, yeah, it's a risky move, but it's, it's, yeah. Okay. As long as they call the right way. Right. Or the wrong way. Right. Okay. Okay. Now that's it. All nice right. rolling bluffing. Cup of bluff.